Hello, today we're going to be talking about DNA replication and the protein sigma factor and its functionality and importance within DNA replication. So here we have a DNA molecule. And here on the right side, we have our sigma factor. The benefit, as we'll see soon. So moving down, I'm going to introduce you two more things used in DNA replication. We have the enzyme helicase, the red triangle, and the RNA polymerase, the weird green potato shape. And then we also have our sigma factor below. As we'll see, the, the red enzyme helicase splits apart the double-stranded helix of the DNA. Think of it as a wedge acting on the DNA, splitting the hydrogen bonds of the bases of the DNA, enabling it to be two separate strands. The benefit of this now is that when we zoom in on the bottom strand, this small area right here, we will call it the promoter area. This promoter area is just, it's just terminology to say that the sigma factor actually really likes, that was not supposed to happen. The sigma factor actually really likes to bond to that area. So the sigma factor will actually move over to that area and bond to it. And now, as you can see, since it's bonded, it's actually attached to the DNA strand itself. The benefit of which now is that since the sigma factor is actually bonded to the DNA strand, the RNA polymerase can now bond to the DNA strand as well. Because the RNA polymerase, sadly, cannot bond to the DNA strand itself. The, the purpose of the RNA polymerase is so that it can actually enable the replication of the DNA strand. So now that the RNA polymerase and sigma are bonded to the DNA strand, RNA polymerase can then begin synthesis of a complementary M- RNA strand that is complementary to the DNA strand it is reading. Keep in mind that the RNA polymerase would not be able to do any of this without the sigma factor protein bonding to the DNA strand. Thank you so much for listening.